Hi guys, this is Ashwin again and uh, this time I'm coming to you with a what do you say, a comparison of a few launches that I've got. So one of the main reasons we get Android is you know for the customizability. So uh, launches are a very big part of that. So uh, I've come across a few decent launches here, you know the ADW launcher, the Go launcher, X, you know Launcher Pro, uh, DW, I mean Dutchwiz, Dutchwiz launcher and another one that's not well known called the SPB Shell 3D so I've been I did a comprehensive uh, video on uh, what do you say the uh, Go Launcher X and uh, though I've been using it for quite a, quite a few weeks uh, I felt that I, I had to give the other launchers a shot and give you my point of view on uh, which launcher fast the best so uh, I'm just gonna start with you know ADW, ADW launcher right now and uh, let's take it from there so this is ADW, ADW, ADW launcher and uh, uh, if you have not seen my Go Launcher X video I suggest you go back and take a look at it uh, I'll have a link to the uh, link to that video uh, right in the description so uh, so once you've seen, seen that uh, well ADW launcher is pretty much pretty similar you know it's got a lot of the same functions as the Go Launcher uh, with a few notable exceptions uh, with okay let me start up with the features of ADW Launcher with ADW Launcher you get the option of customizing the number of rows and columns that you get you know uh, you can customize the transformations that is the way your phone moves from one, uh, one page to another uh, you can change the icons uh, the theme so let me show you how exactly it's done so on ADW launcher you just need to hit menu select more go into the ADW settings over here you know we've got a lot of settings over here you get under UI settings you get to change your icons uh, how the main dock looks uh, some of your screen preferences how many columns how many rows what's your home orientation whether you want it to be set in the portrait mode or the landscape mode or if you want to set it to auto sensor so that you know it detects as your phone, phone rotates I prefer to keep it in portrait mode so that's what I've kept it as and again you have an option to hide your status bar and so on there are a, a lot of options you can just go through it once you know download it and see and then you also have your app drawer set settings so uh, you again have a few different transformations I mean ways of you know moving about your app drawer see what I have right now is uh, you know horizontal paginated or whatever that is you know I just move, move between the app drawer you know page wise going back I'm sorry so going back into settings general behavior okay I'm sorry uh, UI settings, draw settings you have other options you can change it to a lot, a lot of the options let me just show you an example of another one say for example we take vertical 4D so that's gonna give you something like this you get this kind of you know cool flow kind of thing uh, you know with the with all your apps in a list it's pretty cool so uh, these are the basic features of ADW launcher again uh, another option with this is you get to choose your themes you've got an option you know themes preferences over here you get you get to see what all themes are installed on your phone you can change it on the fly or if you need to get more themes you can just go to get themes select it get it from the market right now my Wi-Fi connection is disabled but you know what I'll just enable it and show it to you Wi-Fi themes preferences so hit on get themes and you're into the Android market and you get ADW themes so a lot of the theme, these themes are free but as you can see there are some themes that do uh, cost, cost 
but you've got a lot to you know mix and match and see how it works works out for you you also have an option of you know changing the icons uh, and the main dock preferences apart from the theme so it's a pretty cool launcher it's decent and you get you get to add your widgets and you also get to change whatever you have in the dog bar so I find that this is pretty decent there are a lot of cool transformations if you can see uh, where do I get that okay you've got a lot of transition effects as you can see uh, right now we are using the cube transition effect say for example we switch to wheel and it's kind of like this yeah it's more kind of it's like a kind of like a wheel so uh, that's pretty much it with the ADW launcher now if, uh, I'm just gonna move on to go launcher X and I'm not really going go into depth on this one as you can see this is what I talked about in my previous video so uh, you can just uh, go ahead and again hit, look at that video and that's pretty much got uh, a lot of info on this launcher so the next launcher that we'll see here is launcher pro uh, this is a very decent launcher this is the one I'm currently using uh, I'm not using uh, go launcher anymore uh, Launcher Pro does not give you as many transitions as Go Launcher. Uh, like for example, general setting, no. home screen settings, transition effect. These are all the transition transitions it, ha it has. Uh, it's lesser compared to even the ADW Launcher. But end of the day, uh, okay, I'll get to that in the comparisons. So uh, let me just get back to it over here. Again, you get the option to choose the number of columns, number of number of rows. Uh, you can, you know, set the home screen to loop. The transition effects again. So a lot of the features are similar between these launchers. So there's not too much to differentiate them. Again, you've got the theme options. Uh, one advantage with this is that it comes in with its own set of launchers. I'm sorry, widgets. So you get and these widgets are pretty much you know the sense style of widgets so I think they're pretty cool so uh, that's pretty much you know I'm not going to, uh, again once again I'm not actually doing an in-depth review of the launchers I'm just kinda letting you know what kinda launchers are available and also giving you what I feel are the main differences between these launchers uh, I'm not doing in-depth review of these launchers so the next launcher on the list okay I'll skip SPB shell right now I'll go into touch with launcher this is the basic one that you, you get your phone with it's pretty basic it's got a couple of good features but nothing that makes it stand out from from the rest uh, what I mean to say is whatever you see on this launcher you can recreate this using any, any of the other launchers so there's nothing very special about this uh, apart from the fact that possibly you can you know hold on to something and you know have this effect done and as of right now that's pretty much the only thing that I can think about you know that's different with this launcher so this is the default one that comes with your Samsung Galaxy Note or you know this is touch with any device running TouchWiz uh, 4.0 this is what you're gonna get so again one of the major drawbacks with uh, the TouchWiz launcher is that at least this is how I feel whenever you download an application it does not get sorted alphabetically on its own it just goes and sits there you know wherever you download it I mean as the last app so it's when you have a large list of applications you know this is not even large but I definitely have three pages of applications it's uh, kind of a pain for me to actually try to find out where a certain applica application is so that's a, draw that's a, a drawback for me um, so so yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, ADW launcher and uh, go launcher and also uh, what is that launcher pro uh, all these three launchers are pretty uh, pretty similar 
Uh, there's not much to differentiate between them apart from the fact that Go Launcher is uh, Go Launcher X is free. Uh, all of them allow you to use different themes. They give you pretty much the same functionality. Uh, just that you know, Go Launcher and uh, what do you say? Go Launcher and uh, Launcher Pro give you the gestures to use with your dock. As in, you can just slide up to open up something. Uh, this feature is missing with ADW Launcher. So apart from that, I really don't have uh, much to tell them apart. But when it comes to memory usage and how smooth the launchers are, that's a total different story. And uh, in the next part of my video, I'll be going. Uh, uh, I will be talking to you about one more launcher, the SPB Shell. That's totally different. Uh, it's not. It's not like these three launchers. It's pretty different. Uh, I will be ta talking to you more about that that launcher and also what kind of memory each of these launchers consume and. Uh, which would be the best shot for you if you want to conserve memory and uh, uh, which I feel in my personal uh, opinion after using these launchers for at least uh, one to two weeks each uh, which one I feel is the smoothest and the one that I've finally settled on so uh, you like the video please click on the like button below hit subscribe uh, you can follow me on Twitter at cursed forever uh, if you need anything please leave a comment or send me a message or hit me up on twitter i'll make sure i get back to you as quick as possible uh the link to my next video is also right below uh click on it take a look at it uh thanks a lot for watching you guys have a great day enjoy 2012 thank you bye bye